The physical release of my webcomic Unfamiliar is out in bookstores now. Check out the link below. Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town. And a little while back, I asked my Discord to send me text-only descriptions of their OCs so that I could try to draw them just from the text and see how different they ended up looking. In that first video, I only did four, so I wanted to add some more since I got hundreds and hundreds of requests. Here is our first description. Okay, so she has yellow poofy short hair, and she is a girl with bunny ears and a tail. She is a little on the bigger side, and she is a hopeless romantic. But I hope I get picked. Well, you did. Um, so let's give this a try. So the yellow poofy hair was the first thing that stuck out to me, and then a little on the bigger side is a little bit confusing. Um, I definitely assume that that means that she's like slightly plus size, but not like a lot. <laughs> a little on the bigger side, I guess, really depends on what you're using as your baseline, but I just wanted her to look sort of like plush, <laughs> I guess, soft, um, and I think that that really goes with the bunny theme, so that really works perfectly. I really like this description because it gave us a little clue on what her color palette is just with the hair, and we got a tiny bit of uh, information about her body type, and then her ears and tail, but other than that, it's basically nothing, so it really gives us a lot of room to play. I also like that we get one little hint about her personality, that she's a hopeless romantic. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really the perfect amount of information um, if we want this to be a bit more freeform. Um, I definitely wanted to lean into the bunny th theme a bit just to try to stay on track with what this OC um, has as one of her main traits. And then for poofy, I wasn't exactly sure what that necessarily meant, but with short poofy hair, it could definitely be like this sort of voluminous, sort of wavy curly um, style that I see people with every once in a while. I think it looks so, so cute. Um, definitely wanted to have a bit of a curl and that sort of thing. Um, and then I decided for the color palette, I was going to try to really center the yellow and keep everything kind of warm. Um, I thought that like yellow and brown with little accents of blue might be the way to go. So that's kind of where I started exploring first. Um, I wanted something to really like pop that yellow color out since that's the only color that I knew for sure was going to be part of her design. And the other thing that I thought about a lot, and maybe I was overthinking, but the fact that, um, the person on Discord said yellow and not blonde made me think this is like a highlighter yellow. This is a really bright, maybe dyed yellow um, because typically people do describe um, yellow type hair as blonde. Uh, so I figured maybe this is like a particularly bright or saturated yellow. Um, I don't know if that's right at all. I also decided to give her like this partial heterochromia thing. Um, this happens in some people's eyes and I think it looks really cool where they get like splotches of brown and blue eyes or vice versa. I think that looks really neat and I've never done that with a character design before so I thought I'd experiment with it even though I'm sure that if it was part of the real character design that probably would have been mentioned but um, you know we're, we're playing a bit because we just don't have information about her eyes. I feel like she almost ended up looking a little more androgynous than I was originally planning. Um, I just kind of like this like preppy sort of like look with the outfit, the cream and blue plaid sweater over top of a little collared shirt. I think it looks really cute with her short hair. I don't know if this is right at all, um, but that is I suppose the challenge. And now that she is all finished, it is time for the grand reveal to see how close I got. But first, I want to tell you about this new digital creation app I have been using called Spark. To start off on Spark, you click on the canvas and you can see the different sparks that you can do each day. They're basically like little prompts to get your creative juices flowing. I'll be drawing my OC planchette in the app so that you can see how it works. The tools make it really simple to create whatever you want. Uh, there's a drawing tool, you can adjust your line weight, um, and you can even mess with opacity and things like that for a variety of different coloring options. Once you're finished, you can add it to your own personal gallery. And here are some other creations I've made. This is my favorite so far. It was a prompt where you add boots to a sticker, um, and I gave this really cute sticker some really edgy boots. I just think it looks funny. In addition to a personal gallery, there's also a social aspect to the app called the Inspiration Gallery, where you can see creations from other sparklers, and they'll see your creations too. Huge thank you to Spark for supporting the channel. If you would like to create with me in Spark, you can find it on the Apple App Store by searching Spark Creative Play. Okay, now it's time to see how close I got. I'm honestly kind of nervous, but let's take a look and see. 
Oh, okay. Wow, she is so adorable. Very different than how I pictured, but actually she does seem to have a colored shirt and I feel like I was pretty close on the hair. It actually looks texturally and color-wise very similar. Um, I love your OC. Thank you so much for submitting her and let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have a very tan, hyena-like teen with dark sclera and light pupils, mohawk-like black hair, mini piercings, and she looks great in red. You'll see her walking around the streets of shady parts of town being very friendly. All right, well, um, that is a really good description. I'm definitely picturing something pretty specific, so let's just see how close I get. Um, so I'm definitely getting like a punk rock vibe, and I love the description of hyena-like. I don't know if this means that the character is actually like anthro or anything. Um, it kind of, the wording of it makes me think that this character just sort of embodies a hyena-like attitude, which I think is a really fun challenge, and I'm going to kind of go in that direction rather than adding like, you know, a muzzle or something. Um, so I think that with the mohawk, the dark sclera, and everything like that, we're going in a very like, um, sort of like rough and tumble, very, uh, friendly, you know, like, like it was described, but also she definitely needs to look a little spiky and like someone who could hold her own in a shady part of town. Um, so first thing I wanted to give her some energy with the pose and I really wanted to focus on giving her this like sort of punk aesthetic. Um, I like the arms torn off this sort of jean jacket thing. And then, um, I kind of ignored the fact that it said mohawk like and just gave her a straight up big bushy mohawk. Um, hyenas have kind of like tufts of hair up on the top so that's kind of what I was trying to embody. It's a very thick very voluminous um, mohawk and we do get color notes on both her skin color and her hair. I think it's an absolutely fascinating choice to say that she looks good in red, but not to clarify if she's actually wearing red or if so where that red is, but obviously I'm going to put some red on her um, because there's no way that that's not relevant, right? Like I have to. Um, I also gave her these like double canines um, up top and I gave her a little tongue piercing, a little nose bridge piercing, an eyebrow piercing. I really wanted to give her a fair amount of piercings because the word was lots, so I'm, I'm trying to honor that. And then the dark sclera and light pupils is such a fun detail and definitely something I was excited about. I decided to go with like this almost white yellow color, very, very bright. I feel like it looks quite striking. Um, and then I used that for my white throughout her design, like her teeth and her like bralette that she's wearing underneath this intense red jean jacket. Um, it almost looks like kind of like a battle jacket. I just think it looks cool on her um, and then I gave her these big serious boots with little belts all over them and a skirt um, it's definitely giving like a sort of like 80s 90s punk vibe I think um, and uh, yeah she just generally looks pretty scrappy like she could handle anything kind of fashionable um, and it looks like she lives in kind of like a warm climate like she's out in summertime I gave her kind of like a blush up by the eyes um, just to bring more of that red in and just make her look a little flushed like she's been out in the sun there was so much red going on, I felt like it was making her skin look kind of desaturated, so I decided that for the black of her hair that I would try to get it really like a cool toned black, like a raven-y kind of black, um, and I thought that that would help a little bit. Um, and I wanted to her side of her head to look a little scruffy, like she hasn't shaved it in a bit. Um, I think that really goes in on the punk theme even more. I gave her some fishnets and some sort of scraggly blush, um, and I think she looks really cute. I'm really happy with how she turned out but now it's time to see if she's accurate at all okay so once again this is the description we got and here she is okay all right i see exactly what they mean by mohawk like we also got like a character design sheet which i absolutely love and i didn't know we were getting this makes more sense about like saying that she looks good in red, so she has red in a lot of these outfits, but she's not just in one outfit, so that explains why the descriptor is like that. I love this OC. I feel like they're not that far off. Like if you sort of squint at them, you could see that they're kind of related. Um, and I'm really impressed with that. I feel like there were a lot of things I had to guess about, like body type and that kind of thing, and we kind of got there. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's it's very cool. I love your OC. Thank you so much for submitting her, and let's move on to the next one. All right, here is our next OC description. A mushroom girl that is a sheriff slash cowboy. She has a green cloak and yellow rain boots. 
that is all we get. This one seems like it's going to be especially challenging, but there are some really specific details like the yellow rain boots, so it's going to be a balance. Now, there's a very cliche and specific type of hat that I like to draw when I draw a mushroom girl, and I, I'm ashamed to admit I just went straight for it. I just love the um, sort of big poofy mushroom hat that has kind of a Super Mario-like red spotted top. I just think it looks so cute. I did change up the shape a little bit so it looks a little bit more like a cowboy or sheriff hat, and of course I immediately put on the really specific outfit details that we have from her, the cloak and the rain boots. Um, as for her pants, I knew right away I wanted to do a sort of um, chaps kind of thing to get that cowboy energy despite the cloak. Um, and then I just gave her kind of a nondescript shirt underneath. I didn't want to distract from all these very notable bits of her outfit that are very loud and very specific. So um, I definitely knew I wanted her to have white freckles. Again, this is a bit of a cliche I would say for a mushroom character, but I just can't help myself. I think the white freckles on a darker skin tone looks so freaking cute and it looks so much like mushroom tops, you know, the little white speckles on certain mushrooms. I also decided to give her sort of a can-do attitude. Um, <laughs> I hope that comes across in her face and her pose. I have one thumb in her pocket. Um, I just feel like that's the most sheriffy cowboy pose other than like, I guess, holding a gun or something. Um, <laughs> and uh, honestly, I just really was like having fun with her whole design. I felt like with this one, this was the least like unsure I felt. I don't know if it's going to be accurate, but I definitely felt like I got a vibe off of the limited description that we got. In the end, I just think she looks so cute. I think that the like mossy green cape was the right way to go, especially with a mushroom theme. I still don't know if she herself is supposed to be more mushroom or if that's more of like just her aesthetic. I didn't go quite as hard on it as I could have. Like, I mean, I guess she could have had mushrooms like popping out of her skin, but I guess that's a bit more of a horror vibe and maybe not the right direction to go. Um, anyway, yeah, I tried to incorporate this green throughout. I think it looks good with the yellow rain boots and and it just generally sort of gels well with everything. Her hat ended up looking a little out of place, I think because I committed to it so early and then didn't touch it again. I probably would have changed it a bit, maybe turned it to a green mushroom instead on top, but in the end, I think she turned out really cute. Now it's time to see how close we got. Moment of truth, let's see. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so the hat is very close, and of course the um, the yellow star on the green cape is extremely accurate as well. I'm so happy about that. I didn't know if we were dealing with like more of a neon kind of green. Um, she actually has like a face covering, which is really interesting and not something that I anticipated at all. Um, she looks a lot more like mysterious of a sheriff, whereas mine's more like yeah <laughs> um so yeah i mean she looks super great i like her little hair tendrils and i think she looks pretty mysterious with her eyes covered by that cap um i absolutely love your oc thank you so much for participating and thank you to everybody who put in a description i know i've been gone a while um definitely let me know if you'd like to, me to do more of these videos or if you have any video requests because i'm kind of out of the swing of things i was moving and finishing unfamiliar volume two so it's been a little crazy um, thank you so much for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Huge thank you to all of my patrons, including Aspen, Rayons, Vorpal Matt, Brandon Stark, Jamie, CB, Ted, Crosby F, Lucy Amajiki, Finn Must Die, Live Live, Salty Jackrabbit, Noose Milk, Raven's Crow, Zocelot, T Heal Music, Jabber Dabber Doo, Gender Was Stolen, K, Kadaria, Deadly Nightshade Art, Astral Fox Art, The Expressive Poker Face, Tsubaki, Michael Lavalie, Cutie Pie, Ruin Raincrow, Ice Cream Pal, Cola, JJ Jade, and of course, blah 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 blah.